What's up, Brand Builder? I'm Mash Ponigala, and welcome to another episode of the Brand Builder Show, where I post three videos every week on how to create, launch, build, and market your brand. In this episode, we talk about why your fashion brand needs a signature style. Developing a signature style is one of the best things you can do for your fashion brand. Having a signature style means that your fashion brand can create brand awareness consistently. Contrary to what many fashion gurus may say about being different and new with each new collection, which is a great thing by itself, having a signature style that comes through in subtle ways through every piece of fashion item that your brand produces makes for a brand that would stand out. First, let's look at some examples of famous brands and their signature style elements to understand what a signature style is. And then we will look at five reasons why your fashion brand needs to have a signature style. The first one we look at is a Visu Kamomi. Hidehiko Yamane launched his iconic fashion brand back in 1992 and hand-painted the seagull on the back pockets of jeets, Kamomo in Japanese stands for seagull. Today, the brand has a lot of traction around the world with celebrities and general folk supporting the seagull clothing logo, which became the signature style for this clothing brand. Tom Brown. This American designer sports a signature style of gross grain, red, white, and blue detail on the button placket of shirts and polos, as well as a tag on the back of the collar. This tag on the pattern is clearly recognizable and serves as the signature style. Burberry. This 160-year-old British fashion brand, Burberry, is one of the top five luxury brands in the world, with the flagship brand, the raincoat or trench coat, and the clutch handbag, which are the sails that keep the ship on the present day turbulent waves of sails. The British brand made a comeback primarily with its signature pattern, tan, black, white, and the red house check tartan pattern, which helped it become one of the most recognizable brands in today's fashion marketplace. Next, Maison Martin Margiela. Maison Margiela is a French fashion house founded in Paris in 1998 by Belgian designer Martin Margiela. Both masculine and feminine, oftentimes fusing the two genders, the brand's universe can be described as conceptual and enigmatic, mysterious and iconoclastic. Today, the house is recognized internationally for its unique approach to modern elegance. The signature style of this fashion brand is to place the tag inside the clothes and leaving four visible stitches on the back. Next, Christian Louboutin. In 1992, this French fashion house decided to create a signature style that would not only be a branding move, but also create an emotional connection with their target audience by hinting at sensuality and power. They painted the soles of their shoes red, a striking red. This trend has continued to this day, and even their sneakers have red soles. Now, that is a signature style that is so subtle, yet so powerful. Okay, now let's talk about the top five reasons your fashion brand needs a signature style. We've seen some examples of what a signature style uh, could look like. Now, let us dig into the top five reasons why your fashion brand needs a signature style. The first reason is to be unique. Getting noticed in the fashion world is quite tough. More so if you are a new entrant into the market and do not have a ton of money or celebrity endorsements to gain exposure and reach your audience effectively. But you can start down the path of 
creating brand recall by being unique. People also notice and gravitate towards uniqueness. And to be unique, a signature style goes a long way. Your signature style instantly sets you apart from the rest of the crowd. This creates a connection with your target audience. Number two, to create a connection. By being unique, you attract the attention of your target audience. And if you create the right kind of signature style, you can then connect effectively with, that, with your target audience on an emotional level. This connection then enables your brand to build a tribe around it. Number three, to build a tribe around your brand. When you create an emotional connection with your audience and if supported by deep and authentic engagement, your brand will be in a position to build a tribe of loyal followers around itself. This tribe is like your brand's family and would lead to building trust. Number four, to build trust. When you engage your audience with a unique personality and a well thought out social media strategy, you slowly start to build trust. Now, this is not about making a few quick sales. This is about building trust by aligning with the emotional values of your audience. This is about deep rooted trust uh, that your brand makes and keeps promises that your audience value in their lives. This kind of trust then leads to sales ultimately. Number five, to get sales. At the end of the day, any brand's primary function is to uh, serve their audience and they can do this through providing products or services that add value to their customers' lives. To do this, the brand should be able to sell their products or services, provide the best service that they can, and generate profit to grow and provide even better value to their customers. Now, for sales to happen on a consistent basis, a brand needs to have a kick-ass product or service, and of course, trust. Starting with your signature as an anchor and providing your brand creates apparel that people will love to wear, you end up with sales that will fuel growth. Hopefully, I have managed to convince you that you should invest some serious thought and effort into creating a signature style, whether you're, new, uh, you're a new startup or a brand that has been around for some time. The benefits of having a strong and powerful signature style are quite compelling. If you need any help with a brand strategy to work out uh, your brand's signature style, then you can either contact me through our Spell Brands website contact page, or you can simply ping me on Twitter. I hope you have found this episode useful. If you have any questions about this episode, please hit me up on Twitter. My handle is at Bonigala or leave comments below this video and I will surely respond. And please, as always, don't forget to subscribe to the Brand Builder Show channel so that you will be alerted when my next episode comes out. Till the next video, take care.